Well, hello there. I've been tagged to do the three soaps in one bowl uh, video. I was tagged by T. Scholl Vintage Shaving. Uh, there's the bowl and there's the three soaps right there. Uh, they're kind of haphazardly put into the bowl right now, but they're there. And uh, I'll reveal what those soaps are in just a moment. And uh, well, almost live and from an undisclosed location for reasons of security and insecurity, it's conversational shaving. Yes, you've tuned into the right channel at the right time. Uh, I'm in my robe tonight uh, because I turned down the heat, so hopefully we won't hear that uh, interrupting with the audio. And uh, it's going to get chilly in here, so I put a robe on. Okay, I've already prepped up uh, this evening with the uh, Vanule pre-shave oil. And uh, since I'm doing the uh, three soaps and one... Uh, bowl uh, tag video. Uh, well, I'll get to the soaps in just a second, and uh, I'll show you the razor I'm going to be using. It's this, a PAL Injectomatic razor, and um, in there I have on its second use a PAL New Old Stock Injector Blade. And I'll go ahead and take this out of here. And close that, set that aside. Now let me show you my uh, three soaps. Two of them are actually uh, very thick creams that are almost like soaps to me. Uh, the legitimate soap is uh, what's part of what's left of this Arco stick here. And um, well, I used a grater to grate a little bit of that to put it into the bottom of the bowl. Um, so I have that there, and first of the two creams, which is thick and like a soap as far as I'm concerned, is this Taylor of Old Bond Street Lavender Shaving Cream, and I've also used some of the GOF Trumpers, or maybe that's supposed to be short for George F. Trumpers, Violet Shaving Cream. And I've already lathered this, spent quite some time lathering it on this, uh, well, it's a Samoge 1250 bore brush, which I thought had good backbone, good splay, and might be good for this uh, little project here. I've used the Vanule shaving bowl, which uh, is honeycombed on the inside, and I come to find out is very good, in my opinion, for lathering thicker soaps and creams. So that's what I've used for that. I will go ahead and uh, wet this brush just the tiniest little bit with the lather there. And I'll go ahead and try to get a lather started on my face. And I hope you're all doing well out there. Quite the lather I've gotten here. Of course, with three different soaps, you would think you would get a good lather. And using that bowl and this brush, it's kind of, kind of amazing. Maybe not unexpected completely, but very thick, very nice lather. I'm going to look like a low-rent Santa Claus here compared to how my lathers normally are anyway. Okay, I'll go ahead and set this brush aside and wet the razor. We'll begin pass number one with the grain.
Oh, I almost forgot. I have a new friend for us to meet here on the show. Um, let's see. Oh, there he is. Um, Cal the Kurt Cardinal, also known sometimes as Silent Cal. Why don't you say hello to the good folks out there, Cal? Hey. He's very curt, assuming I'm using the language correctly. Well, uh, I'm going to rinse the razor. We'll uh, break away for just long enough for me to do that and for Cal and Mr. Tal to have a brief meetup. I figure with the relative stoicism of Cal and Mr. Tal, I might be able to keep one of my uh, New Year's resolutions for this channel, which was to be less silly and uh, more adult-oriented. All right. <clears throat> well, uh, so far so good, I think. Uh, almost two days worth of growth on my face. Uh, you might not be able to tell because all my hair is turning white, uh, including the stubble, but... Uh, Anyway, you might hear a lot of audio feedback. Second use on this blade and only the second time I've used this razor. Um, the first time I used it, uh, well, this blade anyway, with this razor, um, I didn't get the most comfortable shave, but I got a very close one, and after I uh, put on aftershave, well, witch hazel aftershave and balm, uh, I had to give it uh, five barber poles out of five barber poles. That's what I use instead of stars. The little barber pole emojis. Sort of like Larry Flint, I suppose, if he uh, had been more into shaving. Excuse me. Okay. I'm going to work on the neck area here. Well, uh, we uh, dodged a bullet in a sense. Uh, a lot of, well, a lot more really thick and nasty snow missed us. Uh, we had gotten quite the little snowstorm a few days prior, and, uh, well, we were possibly going to get hit with another four to six inches, and that all went to our south and east. So we were very fortunate there. I'm still on the fence about these new old stock uh, PAL injectomatic blades. They're just injector blades. You could use them in a Schick, for example. Any of the old style injector razors, but uh, they certainly shave closely, if not comfortably. Now, the PAL uh, single edge blades for a gym or an ever ready type ready uh, razor, rather. I've had very good luck with those. I found uh, found them to be sharp enough and exceptionally smooth, um, if you ever want to try those, and they still make those kind of blades. 
Well, uh, I'm going to pop out, pop back in, freshly leathered for a second pass, and that will be across the grain. Okay, it's time to go across the grain now. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, Cal the Kurt Cardinal, also known as Silent Cal, is being rather quiet down there. Uh, Cal, let's give you some more camera time here. Uh, I know you crave that as much as I do, I'm sure. Now tell me, uh, Cal, in your own uh, terse words, uh, what's on your mind? What are you thinking about? Cal? Well, he's going to be silent, Cal, right now. It's, uh, oh, you know how it is with animals, uh, especially, well, especially ones that uh, have assumed a room temperature or whatever, or just are kind of wooden. Um, you never know. You never know what they're thinking. What, what, what could Cal possibly be thinking about? Oh, no, Cal. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Come on, man. I thought we were friends, and that just was not very cuddly. Think of something nice. Think of something. There you go, a nice kitty cat. All right. Well, excuse me while I rinse the razor. Yes, you've tuned to the right channel. This is a shaving channel. If you wanted to watch a fella shave and discuss the products involved. Now, I have to be honest with you. Sometimes, um, before I got this bowl, which I'll show you again, it's still quite full of lather there. Uh, before I got this Vanula bowl, and I'm not getting any money or products from them for saying this, but uh, I would have trouble sometimes uh, lathering creams like this, say, because they're so thick. And in an ordinary bowl, uh, well, I would just have trouble. I, I had even seen someone online complaining about that in one of the uh, shaving groups on <clears throat> Facebook. So uh, if anybody wants to know what I think that bowl is good for, it's good for those kind of creams and thicker soaps. Uh, I, I think with the right brush, maybe with uh, one like this, kind of your stiffer bore brush, I think, um, you're going to get a good lather. <clears throat> in fact, I'm going to have soap left in the bottom of that thing when I'm done here. But, I must remember, it's time to cast childish things aside. I'm not a religious person, but I almost wish I had a Bible so I could read to you that verse verbatim. A verse which was quoted uh, by President Obama. Uh, early in his presidency, possibly at his inauguration speech for his first inauguration. Excuse me. Now, to give equal time, and not to make anyone upset that I'm bringing politics into the shave, unfairly anyway, um, I guess I would like to quote um, President Trump from one of the final speeches he gave on the campaign trail. Uh, well, I'm not going to exactly quote him. Well, sort of. It's a different context, of course, but with Mr. Tao, uh, Silent Cal here, three soaps and one bowl and uh, other fine products, 
uh, which I bought either on eBay or in some cases from the fine vendors represented here. Um, and also for those of you that like a straight shave and those of you that like a little comedy, we're going to take care of everyone and it's going to be glorious. Oh, shame, shame, shame on me. And I was going to cast childish things aside, wasn't I? Shame, 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 shame. Also on a slightly different note, but serious, or seriously, well, hang on a second. Uh, I was going to say that sometimes when things start going too well, if I don't screw up something like I just did there, I will press the panic button at the least provocation while waiting for the proverbial other shoe to drop or whatever. Okay, now, now let's go against the grain. I'll see. It's going to be glorious. Yes, sir. If it gets any more glorious, I will vomit in my shoes. Okay, I'll go to the neck area now. Well, he was supposed to be shaving, but he kept talking to this this wooden bird, and there was something about a towel, and I don't know. I, I don't know about this guy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's just me imagining what certain people might say. That was rather negative of me, so, Cal, uh, I know you're pretty quiet today. That's right. Uh, but would you... Uh, since you're able to do this through magic and modern technology, would you think about something nice? Oh, I knew it. Here we go. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Okay. Time to get serious, folks. I am getting a pleasant, subtle um, scent of violet and lavender, and uh, the um, Arco, uh, the soapy smell, which some people don't care for Arco, but I don't mind it, uh, in my view makes kind of for a nice soapy base for these other two uh, products. The other two products technically being creams. Alright, well, feeling good so far, folks, and uh, I will return for pickups. 
Okay, Cal, would you do the honors? We're going to take care of everyone, and it's going to be glorious. No, 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 the, the other thing we talked about, the other thing. Oh, three, two, one, it's pickup time, baby, woo! Thank you, Cal. Silent Cal is not so silent right now. Here we go, pickups. But we are going to take care of all our, all our viewers, all our subscribers, and it's going to be glorious. While at the same time casting a child, or casting a child, ew, what's that mean? Casting aside childish ways. Casting aside childish things, I think it is how the verse actually reads, or something to that effect. Wow, that's pretty nice. Uh, oh, I can always kind of go over these trouble spots a little bit better, but uh, yeah, all things considered, this is really nice. This is, yeah, pretty pleasant. I'd give this uh, four barber poles straight up, if not five. That's a DFS shave, if not a BBS. Very nice. And, uh, well, let's see, I will rinse my face, rinse the razor, the brush, whatever, and I'll be back with our good friend, Mr. Tao. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our good friend, Mr. Tao. Whew. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. <sighs> uh, close enough for rock and roll and uh, too nice for this channel. Ooh. Okay, I will be back in a flash and I will begin recaps and uh, putting the finishing touches on this shade. Okay, thus far in the story, I began off camera, I used the uh, Vanuele pre-shave oil to prep for the shave. And my razor has been this PAL Injectomatic Vintage Razor. I'll show you the case that came in. There's a little bit of wear or something over here, or a very... Uh, a very nasty mouse that I wouldn't want to meet got to it, but otherwise it's not too bad. Um, also, my blade on its second use in there was one of these PAL injector blades, new old stock. My brush was this um, Samoog 1250 bore brush. My bowl with lather still in it and soap still stuck at the bottom was this Vanule uh, honeycombed shave bowl there. And my uh, first soap, my only real soap that I used in this was I shaved off some of the Arco, uh, what's left of the stick with a, a grater. I used also this Taylor Bond, Bond Street, excuse me, lavender shaving cream. And I used the GOF Trumpers Violet shaving cream. Okay, um, am I missing anything so far? 
Well, um, here's Silent Cowl and the Grader. Okay. And let's see, am I forgetting anything? Probably, but no, hopefully not. Reach into Magic Cabinet number two here and get the uh, Humphreys Unscented Witch Hazel and apply a little bit of that. There's that. Oh, wrong side. There's that again. Just Humphreys. Okay, set that aside. Hmm. Yes, there is some sting from the the uh, little bit of alcohol that's in that uh, witch hazel, but it's all right. Okay. Now I will let's see, reach over here again, and since there's kind of a lavender violet uh, scent uh, from the two creams there. Uh, I'm going to use the Vanule Lavender Aftershave Splash, which I think this has no alcohol in it, if I remember correctly. So there may not be any sting from this. No, it's alcohol free, just as I remembered. I don't know if you're supposed to rub splash all over your face and neck, but. I am. There, okay. And I'll hold that up again so that you may see it. The Vanule Lavender Aftershave Splash. And finally, I'm going to finish up with some Vanule Lavender Aftershave Balm. And uh, it's going to be glorious. <clears throat> Yeah, one thing you can always count on from my channel, no politics, no serious, er, no seriousness, no silliness, I mean, and great originality. Hey, thank you all for watching and for putting up with this little circus sideshow I got going on here. Thank you for tagging me, um, T. Scholl, Vintage Shaving, Vintage Shaving, yes, and, uh, now it's my turn to tag somebody, so uh, if you haven't done it already, I'm going to tag you, Joy Shaving, uh, and I'll send you a message in case you didn't see this. So that's it, Joy Shaving, and uh, yeah, I don't know who else to tag. Uh, I Well, that's it, I'm done, peace.